Right now, this morning, our guest is one of the top boxers in South Africa. He has traveled and conquered many challenges in the ring. Good morning, Zolani Lasponde, day and welcome to Sport on Morning Live. Good morning, Siswam, and thank you very much for having me on, the, on, on Sport Morning Live. Now, Zolani, you come from the mecca of boxing in South Africa, M. Danzani. Tell us about your love for the sports of boxing, how it started, and when you got to a point in your life when you said, I'm going to make a career out of my love for boxing. Uh, you know, uh, as a youngster, I used to see Opu Fuyani, Pungu, Nok, welcome, training around us. And we would see them driving nice cars, and we'd be like, one day I want to be like him. We never thought, uh, you know, uh, really it will happen. But un up until I joined boxing, you know, I fell in love with the sport at a young age. I was eight years when I started boxing. Up until now, I'm doing the sport I love. Now, we know that you're going to be back in action after what has been a long layoff for you, and you will be fighting against uh, Jalbert Gomera of the Filipinos. Now, let's talk about how you've prepared yourself for the fight and the time that you've had now also to reflect following your last fight against Casimiro in 2019. Uh, you know, I've had a very long camp since uh, I've been out of action for two, for two three years. You know, my manager and I sat down and decided, you know, we need to take a long of training, a long period of training, just to get used to the clubs, you know, because it's been a while since I've been inside the square ring. I've been preparing very well with my team. Uh, we know we're fighting one of the good fighters, and we believe uh, we have to put up a great performance you now since Uzulani has been in the ring when he last lost his title. So that's one thing that I want to make sure that, you know, people mustn't think Uzulani is no longer a good boxer. Uzulani is still in the level of being a champion. And, and once again, early next year or later next year, Uzulani will become a world champion. Now, before your loss, you were literally on the rise. And I mean, we're talking about Zolani Dead Day, every single place we go. And, and we knew that you were set for that fight against Japan's Enyo. That must have been a very difficult time for you and rather frustrating because every time the fight was supposed to happen it kept on getting moved down yes you know i've been looking forward to that fight and i believe some, somehow you know and i will get to meet again because i'm gunning for a world title and once i get again a world title shot then definitely i'll, I'll be in, in the horn and, and calling in over again because that's one of the best fights that i want before i retire in the sport of boxing but I'm looking forward to the fight, and I know I have to put up a great performance on this upcoming fight. And I know my manager will do whatever it takes to bring another world title on the table for Zulan. Now, we also know that boxing is a way of creating a living for a lot of people around the world. And we have seen some boxers really just struggling with managing their funds because all of a sudden, Umuntu Suga from Indawa Laganga told you, Luseyen Zimale Ningi. what words of advice do you have for the young up and coming boxers in terms of managing Amafan Zwabo in a better way? Uh, you know, I would ask them to speak to their managers. Unfortunately, I had Utamla next to me. Uh, the person who's always been guiding me, you know, uh, I've made money and he said the first thing that you need to do is to invest your money in whichever way you feel comfortable. Right now, as we speak, I'm at my own house, I'm driving my own cars and uh, I'm living the life that I've been wanting to live, you know, since I started the sport of boxing. So I believe all the boxers that are still making money out of boxing, they must know who to listen to. They must not choose just any friends, you know, because friends can 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 turn you the other way around. So I believe if they trust their managers, they must make sure they listen to them. Now, Z Zolani, before we let you go, let's talk about your fight that you've got coming up on the 12th. And are you ready to like bring back the glory days to him, Danzan? Uh, Zolani will be fighting on the 12th of December, uh, back at home in Johannesburg. Uh, it's been a while since I fought back in South Africa. So I'm looking forward to the fight. And I'll be fighting one of the good fighters. Uh, Uzolan will be fighting in, in Poison's Boxing Club. Uh, so everyone who's keen to come, they must come and watch Uzolan and showcasing his talent once again. And also just, um, you know, so you and we fight here to make sure which you can back, get back to that stage in your career where you're ready for Japan's Inno and where we know that you will secure a victory against him. 
Uh, Uzulani will just rest for about a week or two and get back to training because my manager told me that there's a fight lining up for, for myself around March. So I don't have much time to, to cruise around. I just have a few weeks. A few weeks, then I'm back on training. That's one thing that I want to do. I want to see myself holding those titles once again. So if if my aim is there, then I need to work hard for it. Thank you so much for talking to us, Zolani, and good luck with that fight. Thank you very much, Zolani. That is, of course, Zolani Dede, one of South Africa's very finest boxers all the way from Mdanzani, telling us about getting back into the ring. But now we move on into...